Well, hello. My name's Penny. I live in the southeast of England with my husband Pete and four chickens. You're most welcome. Thank you for joining me. I've just popped up here in my little corner because I wanted to see if I could get Chinwag done before my friends arrive. They said they're 10 miles away and uh, so there might be a ring at the doorbell and so I'll have to leave it and come back. But I thought I'd make a start. So this week I've got a nice film about over the last two weeks I've been taking just shots of flowers in the garden, you no know, photographs. And so the little films uh, just of colour and shape and back to Fibonacci which is what I talked about last time the golden rule the design in nature well the design in in all of us it, it's quite amazing and one viewer very kindly said have you seen in yarn sheepies macro botanica inspiration in every ball of wool and this is all about this one is number 11 it's all about Fibonacci there's an actually a shawl it's a Fibonacci shawl and uh, everything's got that yeah that link with numbers and and how it is let me see if I can find you the shawl here it is Fibonacci shawlette Very pretty. Carmen Jurisson. There's a better picture for you. So this is number 11 and it's all about botanicals and it says the leafy lace sections of this open worked knitted shawlette follow the Fibonacci sequence in their repeats. Lush foliage radiates from the center outwards creating a graceful piece to enhance the simplest of outfits i thought it was so pretty uh, and again it fits in with the number of stitches that you will need you know the three five eight and onwards and then it talks about macro photography it's very interesting my garden is my biggest source of inspiration and so that's what I've got at the end here, my garden. Zoomed in on nature at a cellular level, this knitted baby blanket will turn others green with envy. Sheep is stonewashed and river washed. There it is. It's rather pretty, isn't it? There's a lot in here, but I like the link to Fibonacci, how... Yeah, it links through all our lives. So, said enough about that. I wanted to show you, last time I talked about my cardigan and I was wearing it. I'm not wearing it today, but I wanted to show you it knitted up in this uh, colour. It's my favourite colour, actually. Blue and this colour is my favourite. And how you can see the design on the back there. And uh, in episode 40, I tell you what pattern it is and all about it. But just to see it knitted in a different uh, different colour is, I think it gives you a, yeah. So that's that. What else have I got? Oh, I sent off for something from So Sweet Violet. I thought I'd open it with you a few days ago now but I thought oh I saved that for Chinwag. What have we got? A lovely card. I sent off beautiful little tin. I mean you have to have these things just because they're so beautiful. They're very small, can you see? Very small uh, stitch markers. So I fancied those because I've got some larger ones, but it's handy having small ones. Comes in this lovely little tin. A tea bag. Organic berry burst, which I like very much. So that's handy. Um, cute little packages. All done up. It's a shame to open them, but I will. Crunkle, crinkle. 
wanted it as a zip pull but it's also well you can use it for whatever you want can't you isn't that pretty I should put that on a zip pull or I might just um, you know as a where you are in your knitting you can use it for either it's so pretty and then oh these I like I mean I've got plenty of small ones but I haven't got the big ones I'm listening out look how big they are and how robust that's super for putting the edges on holding all manner of things they are lovely I really like them you get four in a pack all different colors very nice and a very good spring on them so that I sent for and the last thing I couldn't resist I don't know what I'm going to use it for but I will handmade for all oh, the they're lovely and pliable and thin I thought they might be thick but you can sew through there and just put it on as a as a handmade go through those holes and put it on the side isn't it lovely I couldn't resist I've got four of those and they're lovely and soft and pliable not hard that that's lovely so that's what I'm sharing with you from So Sweet Violet. Now the other thing I want to show you is my quilt, but it's very large. Um, I finished it, my storm at sea, which I'm going to take next week round to have, um, you know, long arm quilted. Here it is, it's all done, it's all pressed. I'll show you. It was a challenge as you know because every point needed to match and all of this is cut on the bias as I explained in episode 40. So it was a challenge. Yeah. Now in the film at the end I showed the film to my friend and she said oh I love those. I only see those insects about four times a year. I said what insect? She said the fly bee. So when you look at the end film, you'll see a fly. Well, it's a fly bee. I thought it was a bee. And what they do is they can't, they're proboscis, they can't get it in and out. It's out. But they, they are great at going in primroses. They like flowers like primroses, it said. And they go from flower to flower and they pollinate. They've got one set of wings, unlike a bee that has two. And when you look at it closely, you can see it's a fly. You can see it's a fly. There's many different types of them as well. And the, um, the female, she looks for the little hole in the ground where one bee lives and burrows in the ground. As she lays the egg, she flicks it and she flicks it right down the hole and then that, when it hatches, feeds on on the grubs, you know, in the hole, and then emerges. But have a look at it closely. It's quite a nice little, decent bit of film so that you can look at it. But I thought, well, that's a new one on me. It, it really was. So what's coming up next, we haven't got any counselling this week because I've just been too busy and now I've been... I mean, you know what it's like, cleaning the house, getting everything ready, everything's spit spot now. I've threatened Pete, don't use the sink, <laughs> don't dirty anything. At least they can arrive, see it all clean. And then it, then I don't even worry. While they're here, we're going to have a nice break. So they're here for hmm, six days. So I hope the weather says no rain. It's lovely and sunny, as you can see. And the garden's looking beautiful. So now we'll go and join Mum. We're back in 1958, still doing um, the last little bit that she's written in her diary. And then afterwards, oh yes, I was going to tell you about the Eccles cakes. Well, there's just a snippet of Pete tasting them because 
Bob is coming now. His favourite is Eccles and so is mine. So I've been looking for a lovely recipe. I tried Delia Smith's. I didn't like it. It was far too sweet. But Paul Hollywood's was perfect. So if you like Eccles and you want to have a bash, I'll leave the recipe in the notes, either to the side or below, you know, wherever you look. You just can't find them if you're watching on the television. For me, it was perfection, made with um, currants, not too much sugar, and they're here. So I'm going to see what this week's chin wag is. There'll be a bit peak tasting going into the film, and what else? Bit of mum now. Oh, mom. Hello, everybody. Yes. Nice to see you. Lovely to be here again. Lovely, lovely yes. day, isn't it, yes. Mum? Yes. So we've been fiddling with yes. the light. So the only way you don't get a, a reflection is if I open the cupboard door yes. a bit. So because the house is full of sunshine. It is. Mum's oh. house is full of sunshine. It's, yes. it's like a greenhouse, yes. isn't it? Yes. So it's, it's lovely. lovely. Anyway, yes. we're talking about March. And we got up to... Um, with you having a worrying yes. half hour because I was over the park. Do you remember? And it's still 1958. Still 1958. Chris is still two years old. That's right. And you're nearly set. You're eight and a half. Nearly eight and a half. Yeah. Yes, I'm eight and a half, aren't I? Yes. Yes. And I'm at my dancing, enjoying yes. all of that, and uh, generally just I, I yes. remember being very happy. Mm. I tell you what, I do remember, Mum. I remember a woolly that you knitted me, and I saw a grown-up pattern for one, the same, last week. And I nearly bought it. In fact, I think I can feel myself that I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> it's made of Aran wool, cream. Yes. And then it's got Aran, like, diamonds on it. don't know if you remember it. And so the diamonds went all down. In the centre of the diamonds were flowers made of little bobbles, and then threaded through the eyelets round was, you know, you'd made a thread, yes. a, a cord, cord. And yes. with, with tassels on the end. Yes. And I remember playing with the tassels and pulling them round and then having these reds and greens down the front and absolutely loving it. And I saw a grown-up pattern for it and thought, I'm going to have to knit that. So we'll oh, see, I might have to. But yes. that's what you were knitting at the time. Oh, yeah. Man. All the new things that were coming out then, yeah. I had to try them all. Yeah. They just, you were a lovely yes. crafter, oh, weren't you? Yes. Mainly knitting yes. then, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Well, we'd better get on. Yes. So here we are, Mum. On Monday the 10th, you say... You had a quiet afternoon with Chris. Mm. And this is still February, is it? March. March. March yes. the 10th. Right. Yeah, Monday, March yes. the 10th, 1958. Yeah. You said you're still waiting for cold, Mum. Yes, it was a terrible winter. Yeah. And because all the lorries got held up for with delivering the coal to the big... Um, because it had to come yeah. from up north. Yeah. You know, or Wales, I suppose, Wales, yeah. yes, it had to Wherever come a long it had distance. to come from, it was and, a long way, And they yeah. had to drive through snow, because yeah. it, it was such an awful winter. So it says, extremely cold, had you, you had a quiet evening watching television, and then the next day, it says you couldn't shop properly, because normally you shopped in the morning, yes. didn't you? Yes. Um, because you were waiting for the cold, oh, so I suppose you yes. just nipped out yes. and nipped back. There was no break in the cold no. weather, and... Um, you know, it was next day, still yes. waiting for coal, yes. but you were busy with housework in the morning, snowing in the afternoon, quiet evening round our small fire. Yes, because mm. it's it's silly to say it, but it yeah. was almost counting the lumps, what was we had it? left. Right. Yes, you, you just Rushing couldn't make it, up a lovely, yes, yeah. you couldn't make up a lovely fire. Yeah, because you say because, our small yes. fire. Because yeah. we didn't have much coal. Couldn't bank it all no, up like you used no. to. You had a very nice time the next day at your old girls in the evening. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, our old girls, we came, they came from everywhere they could yeah. in London to, yeah. to meet. And, of course, we, we met in a, um, I forget that it was a famous place that had small restaurants in different places oh lovely yes 
So it was and, a nice uh, evening. Yes, and uh, it was lovely because all our chat was all about our families. Yes. And, and also what we did at school and going through the war at school. And yes, catching up. Yes, catching up. That's lovely. right. Yes. And then you said Ron and Ted. So obviously out Ted, our next door neighbour, yes. came in to keep Dad company babysitting. And you said they had a fine time on their own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived home at 11.30, Ted was still there. You could never get rid of Uncle Ted, no, could you? No. 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 And he, he loved being with Dad. They just chatted about all work and, yeah. and, and football. They and got on every, well. Yes, they did. Um, they you did. said the next day I was late home from dancing. Um, there was quite a lot away from school with scarlet fever. fever. That was a very, very big contagious right. disease then. Oh. And they even had just fever hospitals. Right. To, to, because it, it wasn't, you didn't get over it in a couple of days. It was I didn't long, get it though, did No, I? you didn't get no. it. But it was, mm. you had to be very careful yeah. if you had mixed with children with, yes. with it. Yeah. Um, you had a general clear up on the in the morning, on the Monday. And um, <clears throat> in the evening... Dad and I developed photos, <gasps> and I remember that in the kitchen oh. when we had trays of mix, you know, fixer. That's it, it was called fixer. fixer. And then he would get the tongs and he'd let me put it in that yeah. tray and then put it in that tray. And then as if by magic, yes. the photo would come and then he'd peg it up on a little line. Oh, oh I loved the smell. Yes. I love being in the little kitchen with him. I was one of my favourite yes. pastimes, and I've always loved taking photographs since. Yes. Never developed them myself, though. Once he discovered that he could yeah. do that, there was no, no stopping, stopping him. Was there, no. Mum? No, in the kitchen we'd go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get all. <laughs> oh, how lovely! It was yes. always a man of hobbies, wasn't yes. it? But yes. wasn't he was like toad of toad yes. hall in Wind in the Willows? Yes. He'd go from that hobby Richard. to that hobby to that yes. hobby. He really was a man yeah. of hobbies. Um, and then the next day, Mum, in the evening, you said you had a very lonely evening because Dad worked until 11 o'clock. Yeah. I can't believe you said that. No. Because here's a little a little time that you were on your own, that there wasn't people calling round. You felt no, lonely. but there were always people in our house. Yeah. And even when the people had gone, there was always Dad and I, we'd talk about this or talk about whatever yeah. whatever he had on his mind yeah. to, to do, to to start the business, you know, yeah. sorting all that out. It was always out. a busy, busy. Yes, always, yes. Yeah, it was a chinwag yes. house, Mum. It was always busy, busy <laughs> talk, yes. Yeah. That's right. And you, there you were yes. sitting there. It was very lonely till eleven yes. o'clock. Yes. And the next day, shopping in the morning, you had a fairly quiet afternoon cooking <laughs> mm, with a two-year-old. Yes. What fun! <laughs> Ron went down to Pegs in the evening to make arrangements about the Easter bookings because we were going yes, on holiday. Um, and you put very cross all oh, mum for you to be very yes. cross. Very yes. cross. I, I don't probably, suppose you showed I it. Probably banged the table. Yeah, I don't way think of so. Cross. <laughs> a very cross, as he didn't arrive home till one o'clock. No, that was him and Len. Yes, <gasps> they got waylaid oh, again. Yes, yes. Then, then your friend Evelyn, Mum, her mum died suddenly. I like the words you used. You said things happened fast in the evening. Things happened fast in the evening. Why? Because Dad had to take John and Evelyn to the airport. Yes. Because they had to get back to Ireland. But then you had Len on the phone, so he must have had a phone, Mum. Yes. Definitely yes. had a phone. Yes. Len on the phone, and he was most angry. Because, of course, Dad was supposed to be giving yes. him a driving lesson. Yes. And it, everything happened so yeah. fast. fast. Yes. Well, that's, you know, quite so, works, yes. aren't they? Yes. And then the next day, you took Penny to the West End, to buy her a suit. suit. Yes. Wow. Well, Sunday best then was definitely, you were just the right age then to have a little suit, a lovely tailored skirt and jacket. Wow. And that was... Eight and a half to buy yes. a suit. Anyway, you took me to the West End. How exciting. Mm. I went, wonder if Chris was with us. Well, he must have been. Yes. I don't suppose Dad looked after him. Dad went to... Um, 
Dad went to Luton actually because he was, he watching, was watching football. football yes. yes, he didn't arrive home till nine o'clock again. Um, and um, anyway, you didn't get me a suit in the West End, Mum. You got one in Stoke Newington, yes. and it Be was four pounds because the West End was very expensive. Was then. it? Oh yes. yes. But it was lovely just going around the look. big department stores. Yeah, and, and so there you yes. are, going up the West yes. End. And I remember your clothes, Mum. They were mm. absolutely gorgeous. Because yes. you were as thin as a rake. You used to wear those dresses, you know, with the yes, full skirts, with the, with the belt. Ball, and, yeah. and, 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 <gasps> you know, abs yes. I always remember as a child yes. looking at your dresses and thinking, oh. one day I'll have dresses oh. like that. But you dressed me beautifully yes. anyway, Mum. Yeah, you did dress me beautifully. And then in the evening, Mum, on the Tuesday, you watched a very interesting operation on the telly. Yes. It must have been I a new thing. I think it must have been the new heart. Yeah. They discovered it. Oh. Uh, they could operate on hearts oh, then. Oh, and they were showing and, you. Uh, yes, and because that that was such a new yes. thing on television, then I'd never even th think of anything like that. No. And I think the heart was a lot in the news then. Oh, right. After the war, yes. people uh, smoking and, yes. you know, that was just beginning to get into the right. adverts on the television. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you watched a wonderful film in the evening called Cast a Dark Shadow. Yes. And it must have been, that was made in 1955 with Dirk Bogart. And that must oh. have been very special to sit in your own armchair yes. and watch a good film. Mm -hmm. What size telly, Mum? I think I think we still had um, a twelve inch. Yes, I yes. think we did. I think it was still a twelve. Twelve inch, inch yes. but you thoroughly enjoyed oh, it. Dirt bogart. Yes. <gasps> oh. And then the next day, guess what? Lovely spring-like morning. You went to Wood Green to get some things, and um, Peg called in for dinner. Well, that was lunch. Yes. But you called it dinner. Yes. Because then you had a nice afternoon together. And guess what? Susan's bronchitis, that's their daughter, yes. is much better. Yeah. I tell you what, the people that yes. have got colds and flus and yes. bronchitis. Yes. Yeah. And then Anne came the next day on the Saturday to take me to my show. Ron went to football and had to leave early. And um, I think you went to a dinner and dance must have been your first yes. one. Yes, and when yeah. you said I, 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 I can remember one dress I had um, f for one of the early dinner and dances was black with a very, very wide skirt and you probably remember the little red roses yes. embroidered on it. Yes. And that was, oh, I kept Ke that for years and years and well, years. Well, I it want was, it now, Mum. It was definitely want lovely. it now. And such a big flary skirt. Yeah. It was lovely. So we'll stop there. That's the yes. end of March. Yes. And, uh, well, a bit of a mixed bag. Yes, it's lovely. How, on, how long do I go on in, in there? Ah, let's have a look. April. Ah, oh, yes, because once the weather all improved, then, yeah, April. then life was really, really busy. Yes. I mean, in May, on the 5th of May, on the Monday, Mum, Started washing down the bathroom and toilet <gasps> prior to decorating. Ron brought a new car home, a blue Austin Cambridge. Oh, lovely. And that was it for yes. me then. I yes. think you, you know, you ran out. Yes. You no, not another one. No. So that's all we've mm, got. No. But anyway, it's been interesting. Yes, it's been lovely. I'm yes. picturing you there. Counting the lumps of coal, coal you put yeah. on the fire, <gasps> having these lovely dresses yeah. after what you went through mm. in the war, not yeah. clothing coupons. No. Oh, what a joy! Yes. Taking me to the West End yes. for a suit and Dad doing all this developing. Yes, yeah. that's it. I'm working mm, hard, yes. oh, setting up the business. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, so it's been fun busy, doing busy it. Busy life. It was. Yeah. Yes. Lovely. So we'll see you next lovely. time. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. I just had to come up and introduce. This is Jan, my friend. We've been Hello, friends everyone. since what, 1972? I long think. Long time ago. Yeah, Penn. long time. Yeah. I'll put a picture up here. I have done it in previous episodes for for all you new viewers of us when we we're at my daughter's wedding many years ago. I can't remember how ago. long ago it was. Look what she's bought me. Isn't that lovely? 
So we're now going to have a super few days. And as I said, I'll see you next time. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Yeah, but you like them. Oh, absolutely. Lovely. Right. Crisp, but you can hear the crunch. Bang goes the diet. Oh, right, we're off to far for our walk. Well, you haven't any breakfast. Oh, that's all right then. Thank you for taste testing. <laughs>